Hey! Hello! I'm Eric Zimmerman. I'm Colleen Macklin. And welcome to Iron Game Designer Indie K 2011. Yeah. Iron Game Designer is a session where people are making games before their very eyes, and you guys get to help them out by helping choose the, the theme and, and voting on the winner and participating and, and maybe even making some of the games themselves. Ooh, there's a special twist to the session. The, the purpose of Iron Game Designer is to not just have a fun-filled uh, sort of game show activity at, at uh, IndieK that, that breaks the mold of uh, regular sessions, but also to give you guys an insight into what it's like to design a game, the game prototyping. Um, and also we just want to say we're very indebted to Marco Blanc, who first uh, started doing Iron Game Designer at the Game Butler Conference many years ago, so this is very much inspired by him. Um, Absolutely. And anything else, Colleen, that we need to explain before we get rolling? I think that's about it. All right, well, let's introduce our team captains. Steve Swink, uh, yeah. independent game designer, uh, known for his uh, work on Shadow Legends and other games. Um, Miles Nye, a uh, independent game designer. So, you know, rumor has it has worked for the Survivor uh, Survivor. We'll see if he survives this challenge. Oh, well oh. put on And lastly, Catherine Herbleck. So we actually have three very different kinds of game designers here, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting session. I think the first thing we need to do is give them their headbands, right, Colleen? I think so. All right. Well, what, who should get which color? I think Steve Swing should get pink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I should get fly. Yeah. <laughs> He's a blue kind of guy. That means Catherine Herblick uh, gets the, the, the white color. And, uh, and please put on your headbands, and the others are for your, your teammates. Now, each team captain uh, is going to be able to pick one co-captain from the audience, and then we will select the other two members of each team randomly from those cards that some of you filled out. Um, so, uh, uh, Colleen, who, who gets to go first? Pick a team captain. Um, I think Catherine should go first. All right, Catherine, you get the first pick, team captain from the audience. Co-captain, who do you think? Oh, she's doing it. Oh, you're right. We've got to oh. come out and play the ball. Yeah, the ball the operators. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Miles. Nick Fortuno. Oh, Nick Fortuno. I see. I think it must be something. Yeah. Uh, it's Dean Swing. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Richard. Oh, oh. 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 Anti-matter, I heard. Anti-matter. Fish farming. 
Fish farming. Fish farming. Stock market. Stock market. Modern warfare. Apple pie. Modern warfare. All right. Okay. Uh, we have number 12. Right. Tabloids. 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 Yeah. Infidelity. Political fidelity. Political fidelity. Political fidelity. Political fidelity. It's got to be in the next five. It has to be in the next five. James really did a funny little joke with us. So, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, so, so it's, what are the next five? Let's hear some more things you haven't heard yet. Batman. 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 Persuasion. 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 Passion. 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 The Amish. The Amish. The Amish. The Amish. The Amish. At the end of the session, you all are going to be voting on your favorite game, and it should be the game that you feel is the best embodiment of the theme and the best use of the secret ingredient. So this has to be very central to, to what, what's happened. They can only use the secret ingredient. Right. One. The secret ingredient is... Banana! <laughs> Do it. Yes. We need to make a little bit of 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 a Keeper. Bananas in the morning like bananas in the morning. Maybe you're gonna get three bananas. And you're gonna count. Sure. Is it a game about building a banana beer? We're ready! Alright, we need six playtesters. Six playtesters! Come on down, we need some playtesters. There we go! Okay. Also, by the way, anyone playing the white game, I think we have insurance waivers for you to sign. The subtext is reflects the Amish's journey into the world that they make as they come to maturity, as they reach adulthood, okay. uh, have temporarily have access to the forbidden technology that produces bananas. Which team do you think uh, is uh, headed for victory? Uh, I think you got a reasonable head. Three, four, playtesters! I have a degree, actually. One, like two, three, four, come on up! That's a solid idea. Vote for the pink, actually. Oh, you're voting for pink. Why are you voting for pink? I'm thinking that their team so far seems the most, you know, well thought out. It's definitely interesting. It's a, a, a departure and sort of thought about the Amish and technology. All right. And the Amish way to move the banana from here to the top of the stairs is to pinch the banana between your legs. And I believe that if you don't pinch the banana between your legs, then you're not honoring the spirit of our Amish culture. And you're using a technology that is not approved. And you may, uh, you may be shunned, and I may need some help from the audience to shun the team. So if you see a team that's doing something that doesn't adhere to our way of life, I expect everyone to shun them. That's <laughs> actually really not very hard, huh? Oh, yeah. Barnana uh, is the name of this game for the Patasti Amish. Um, they have to construct a spire. We modeled one for them because we didn't have enough bananas to make a model. They have to build it and then transport it. And because the Amish do not embrace technology and they begin their work before the sun comes up, they are playing blindfold in the dark. Okay, so they're doing a construction activity. Uh-oh, it looks 
he was the honors are going to be under their long bloody rivalry with the Quakers. Uh oh. So in order to uh, play up that aspect, uh, the coach is a member of the team, and also the players can only use one hand. Oh, oh one yeah. hand, what? no eyes. No That's pretty challenging. You're telling me this is a game using bananas where you can only use one hand. Yeah, not only that, this is a game about the Amish inspired by special forces. Alright, so let's, let's militarize those peaceful religious communities. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, so we have, for each team, a coach. Colleen, it's almost, the coaches seem to have a really important role. Yeah, it's almost as if they're the voice of God, you could say. Speaking to the Amish or the Quakers, right? As they... You've got them both, so uh, start construction. All right, all right. So, all right. So, all right. so you're ready. You've got the structure built. It's all built. It's all built. Yeah, so delicately, delicately to your, to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left, to your head. Adam has two bananas for you. Lift it up from the bottom. Yeah, Adam, so rotate that in 90 degrees. Perfect. So, Teddy, pick up one banana. There you go. And move it over to Adam. All right. And pick it up. Come on. All right. This is the moment. Oh my gosh. One hand. One hand. I think I'm good. Do we have a Oh! Banana rung 
Rungspringer. So apparently, the Rungspringer is what happens to Amish people when they're 18. They get a chance to go out into the world and decide whether or not they're going to devote themselves to the Amish way of life or to the sinful way of the world. So, in this game, you have two teams of two, and they have to move the banana up the stairs to the very top and eat the banana when they get there. And the team that eats the banana first at the top wins. Forbidden fruit. It, but you cannot move the banana except between your legs. I mean, you can, but the use of hands is considered a uh, shunnable offense. It's a piece of technology that's not accepted by the Amish way. Right, sticking a banana in your crotch is obviously well accepted by the Amish. Um... Everyone knows this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, let's get started. And if you find something to be shunnable, not in the spirit of the game, I need you to call it out. And uh, we'll post some penalties on them for their way more behavior. Oh, this is a fabulous technique. I really like this, uh, this spirit poem. I'm not for promotion at the end. Oh, boy. Yes, so the name of this game is I Cast Off the Modern World. And it too is based on the Rome Springer, this idea that, um, yes. Uh, that, uh, that in adolescence, um, what the Amish will choose, will like, have a year to leave the, the community and uh, go explore the modern world and then come back into the fold, right? Um, and so in this game, this is in, it's something that's, you know, that it's accepted, but it's very often hard for the community to accept that they, these people are leaving. So in this game, there's five players which represent the, uh, the community, and they're trying to hold in the two adolescents, and those guys in the middle, who are trying to escape. Um, and each one is, has to eat the banana, which represents modernity, and be the first to consume the banana and then re-enter the community by getting back into the circle. Go! And they're off! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're trying to make their movie. Oh! They're fighting for one banana! That is an interesting part. There's another banana over here, you guys. Oh boy, the banana can be consumed. Online, each member of the white team gets online. Let's hear it for all of our designers and thanks, guys. 